Natalie and Noah, we are here to celebrate the birthday of Creative Discovery Museum, and we're going to read a book today. Is that okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Will you hold the box, and I'll take the book. Thank you very much. This is a book called Halloween Scare in Tennessee, and the author is Eric James, and illustrated by Marina Lee Wright. Prepare if you dare for a Tennessee scare, a night of pure terror to whiten your hair, a tale filled with sights that are best left unseen. You ready? You sure? This was my Halloween. The werewolves howled loudly, the moon shone so bright. I stayed in my bedroom, the curtains shut tight. My heart started pounding, my knees felt so weak. But being a brave kid, I just had to beat. I pulled back the curtains, my mouth opened wide. An army of monsters had gathered outside. They staggered and stumbled and lurched down the streets with bags full of cookies and candy corn treats. Emerging from sewers and houses and stores, came creatures and critters with ravenous roars. Then more came along from all over the state. They filled up the streets at a dizzying rate. Who are they? From Memphis, Laverne, and Germantown too, a mountain of monsters, the Molius crew, all gathered together for one spooky night to seek out the living and give them a fright. <laughs> the thunder clapped loudly and terrible with terrible booms. The witches dodged lightning and clung to their brooms. The two-headed doggies tried chasing their tails, and banshees let loose with their hideous wails. The vampires hung out on the street in, the, in their gangs and grinned just to show off their pearly white Things. The mummies moaned loudly and swayed side to side while Frankenstein stomped about town with his bride. A count in a cape had a rumbling tummy. He saw a young lady and look, that looked rather yummy. He said to his girl, you are an awesome sight. Why don't you come back to my place for a bite? Mm, don't want to do that. The phantoms from Bill Street were playing the blues and singing songs about paying their dues. The guitars were dripping with some kind of ooze, which ruined their lovely blue suede shoes. The creepies were crawly and the crazies were crazed. The zombies from Clarksville had eyes that were glazed. The orgs from Jackson were ugly as sin with big bulging noses and warts on their chin. The ghouls danced around and were lacking in soul. The gargoyles would rock and the headless would roll. Although the whole spectacle seemed to spell doom, I foolishly thought I'd be safe in my room. But then something happened that made my heart jump. From somewhere below, I heard a big thump. I froze for a moment as quiet as a mouse. Yes, I could hear noises from inside the house. I put on my slippers, I pulled on my robe, I shook like a leaf, but I don't think it showed. Then suddenly, slowly, but surely, I crept down the stairs, preparing myself for the biggest of scares. My hands trembled widely, I opened the door, I still shuddered now at the horrors I saw. The stereo spat out some hideous sounds, as dozens of monsters jumped madly around. The sight was horrific. It made my skin crawl. These monsters were having a Halloween ball. And right in the middle of one of the monsters loomed tall, the hairiest, scariest monster of all. He turned around and saw me and I fell to my knees. I'm not very tasty, don't eat me please. He beamed ear to ear and broke from the huddle, ran over and gave me a big monster cuddle. At last, we have found you. 
He said with a smile, from Nashville to Knoxville, we've looked for a while. We came here to give you a wonderful prize. He held up a trophy in front of my eyes. A prize? And for me? I replied with a grin. But what did I enter and how did I win? You've won first prize for the costume you're wearing. It even scares me and I'm a tip top at scaring. This isn't a costume, I'm dressed as me. Exactly the scariest thing you can be. A small human child with a cute button nose. Your teeth so shiny, you're only 10 toes. No hair on your face and no horns on your head. The whites of your eyes are not glowing red. A bone chilling costume, a horrible sight, a worthy ensemble for Halloween night. So the little boy won the prize. We parted together until the moon set, a Halloween night that I'll never forget. And the next year I won't want to hide in my bed, then the monsters won't scare me. I'll scare them instead. <laughs> Did we like that? We are huge fans of the Creative Discovery Museum. Please join us as we work to ensure the next generation can continue to explore, innovate, create, and play. Donate today at cbmfund.org slash donate. Happy 25th birthday. <laughs>